Hello again, this is Jason Torpy with the Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers answering member questions. Uh, this week's question is, can mental health providers be given more confidentiality rights in the absence of humanist chaplains? Now the background on this is that when a military person goes to a chaplain, just like in the civilian world, they have really strong confidentiality. The chaplain doesn't say what happened in the meeting, they don't say the meeting happened. Chaplains are very accessible at the lowest levels, anybody can go and see them at any time, and chaplains have unrestricted access to military, military people, so they're always walking around, they're always available, uh, they're on call 24 hours, so, so it's really convenient to have somebody to talk to, and to have somebody that, it, you know, when you talk to them, it's entirely confidential, even the visit itself is confidential. And that's not the case if you go to, say, mental health. If you go to a social worker, if you go to a therapist or a psychiatrist in the military, a lot of times that's reportable to your chain of command, and that can be detrimental. Uh, but the best answer to the question, uh, the original question, which is can other professions, uh, in the absence of humanist chaplains in the military, can those other professions have that same level of confidentiality where you could go and see them and then they wouldn't be able to tell, tell anybody even that you visited? Uh, and, the, and the basic answer is no. Uh, the reason that that comes up is because it's a, it's a religious issue, uh, it arises from Catholic confidentiality and uh, in the confessional Catholics go and they confess their sins, their sins, sins are forgiven due to a certain penance given to them and uh, it's really important you know, in that tradition that that be entirely 100% confidential just between uh, the individual and God uh, through the clergy. And as you, as you make a secular analogy to that, there are other, other ways that that's translated. But it's not necessarily the case that um, any secular organization would acquire what is essentially a sectarian right. In addition, it's not clear that that, that, that same level of confidentiality arises in other traditions, like the Jewish tradition or the Muslim tradition, or even you know, Protestant traditions necessarily. It's, it's primarily from the Catholic tradition, so it's not clear that what is, what is really a very sectarian activity, that clergy confidentiality, should be extended into the secular world. What we do have in, in secular uh, professions in the mental health world and the medical world is doctor-patient doctor privilege. So there's a lot of protection for personal information, for what's talked about, for, uh, for individuals they go to see mental health providers or, or doctors to get, or counselors to get counseling. Uh, it's not to the level of the clergy, but, but the good thing is there is a lot of protection. The problem is, again, in the military, if someone, say for example, a pilot goes to see mental health, they may be taken off of flight status. If someone is doing, you know, live fire activities, you know, doing combat activities, and they go for a mental health visit, it's really uh, required in a lot of cases for the mental health provider to notify the commander that these uh, that that there was a visit that happened, and the commander may take action to take the person off the duty or or to restrict it from activities that in a way that might hinder their career. So so that's really where the problem arises. Now, from another perspective, not just in the military but in, in culture in general, it arises uh, these issues arise from a zero tolerance uh, perspective on mental health issues. If you go break your leg or if you get cancer, people understand that, they work with you, they try to work through it, they don't, they don't immediately um, push you aside because you got sick physically. But in terms of mental health, there's a real problem in society where, where we do kind of treat somebody as, as categorically broken uh, when they have mental health issues. And that's really an underlying problem here. This need for this very high level of confidentiality to hide even a visit is, is from you know, what is really an inappropriate uh, stigma against mental health problems. And, and I think focusing on that stigma is something that we can do, you know, right now and make a lot of headway on without, you know, adopting uh, more confidentiality, which is really an attempt to hide problems instead of to shed light on what, what in a lot of cases may be common issues and maybe com uh, issues that are commonly overcome by people that are good leaders. So just because somebody has a mental health issue or, or goes to see a therapist, you know, do a couple sessions with a therapist when they're having some trouble, that's something that shouldn't be looked down on at all and it shouldn't be something that hinders someone, someone's career. So uh, again, the question is should non 
chaplains, non-clergy, be given inviolable, totally secret clergy confidentiality. And, and I, don't, I don't know if that's necessarily a good direction to go. Uh, on a lot of cases, social workers and, and um, therapists, things like that, maybe, maybe it should be the case that they notify authorities when, when there are issues uh, that arise, you know, whether there's children or other, um, you know, other people that may be put at risk by a real problem, especially in the assessment of a counselor or a mental health professional um, or a clergy member, member for that matter, maybe protecting privacy isn't the first, uh, the first responsibility that that person has. Um, and in in the military in general, I think it's I think it's important that we have humanist chaplains. But even if we have humanist chaplains, we need to focus first on taking away the stigma of mental health problems, and I think that will that will be the fastest way to get from where we are now, which is uh, a need for confidentiality in order to protect against the stigma stigma of mental health issues, to get to where we should be, which is uh, a place where people can go and they can get counseling, they can get therapy, they can get, um, uh, you know, whether it's even drugs that they need to, to stabilize themselves, to deal with the stress that they have through talking, through uh, medicine and through all of the resources that they should have available to them without having to hide that activity or worry about losing their jobs or losing their entire careers just because they went and asked for some help. So again, this is Jason Torpy with the Military Association of Atheists and Freethinkers at militaryatheist.org. Um, whatever the confidentiality is uh, from the clergy or from anyone else, you can always call Matt and, and talk about your issues uh, and, and get help with what you need both from the national office and from other local MAP members in your area.